Hello, welcome to the TV room. I've started to do a new thing in between each video because I've had weird things happening with microphones. I do do a very quick little video to say testing, testing, one, two, three, and I listen back and make sure that it sounds okay, and it did, and it does, so I'm assuming that this is okay. These glasses are not really on my ear. There we go. So, here's the plan. I am going to move this light. And I'm going to glide over here and put, no, maybe I won't put this down. This is the lid of the 41st pet in the collection. It is. And over here, behind me in a chair, is... The 40th pet. Okay. And the 40th pet, if you remember, what I do, what's going on here? Why is this sitting all funny? Oh, the plug. The plug is underneath. Oh, come on, you. All right, this one. Oh, and also this one has no back on the monitor. Oh, you know, while I'm here, because I really haven't looked, what does this say? Okay. So this is a 4032N, made in USA, the Durham Board of Education. Reference number, school, department, team, etc. And no back. Be careful of the shock hazard. Okay. So what I'm going to do at this moment, because I'm here and I can, I'm going to oh, plug this in. I don't believe it's turned on. I don't believe it is. But I will turn it on and we'll see the gibberish will appear on the screen. Yes, there is gibberish. And the screen is full of weird stuff, which I believe is a screen RAM issue. But there's always the possibility that maybe, maybe, it's um, the character ROM thing. But I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So, but as I have right next to me here, another pet... That is of the same generation and the same everything. Oh, I don't have my preferred screwdriver here, but this one should do. I think maybe, maybe not. Maybe I need to loosen this up with this tiny little dude. Maybe, possibly. Maybe I should just go get the right one, which is downstairs. Hello. Boy. I think I have been spoiled by having the chip puller available. Which I'm sure at this moment is downstairs. One last thing I will try. Because I'm here and I can't. I have this other tiny, tiny little screwdriver here, which is also one I have used before. But boy, this is tough. There's just nothing to get a good sort of grip on here. It is off. Well, that's not going well. Not at all well. 
Well, I suppose one thing I could do, if I am so enchanted, I'll disconnect the monitor. I'll take this imitation Sharpie. I'll put it on the board. Oh, looky there. And out comes the chip. All right. And I will go over to this machine. The 41st. And I will get the same chip. The pins look okay. I will line it up carefully. And I will put it in. And I will attach the screen again. And I'll see if it makes any difference. And my guess is that it won't. But you never know. Remember, I'm taking something out of something. I don't know if something works. And indeed. It's the same. The same gibberish appears upon the screen. It does. So, yes, I am thinking that. Screen ram. Now, what I have found with this machine is if I leave it on for a little bit, and turn it off, and turn it on, after waiting a suitably five or so seconds, that sometimes it comes up looking a little better. Well, not this time. I mean, I can see the Commodore basic thing at the top. But it really didn't come up better. And, of course, everything comes up as a syntax error. And if I close the lid and clear the screen... Ooh. Okay, things are happening down below here. So I have my little wee program in here, and I will run it. And indeed, it will run. But, come on, you. But it's not right. So that is why, again, I think, screen round. If I clear the screen. Oh, it's never really clear. Oh, at least the program comes up there. But also all kinds of other gibberish appears. Gibberish, I say. But if I run it, it kind of runs. So, I would say it's not a complete failure of whatever chip is bad. It's a enough of a failure that it fails. It is. Ugh. So, what to do, what to do, what to do. So I have two basically identical machines, both 4032s, both with the same um, same boards. I but this one comes up and the screen does nothing. Now, does that mean the pet is sickly, or does it mean the monitor is dead? I don't know. So I'm kind of pondering what I might do. It looks like I'm going to turn this off now. I'm looking inside these two mostly identical machines. Um, it does look like the same. Oh, no, not the same. What is this? I can't really tell. Similar chips are socketed. I suppose what I might do. Let's take this. There's my little wee screwdriver. And I might pop this out. And set it over here. I'll put the original chip back in. It looks fine. It looks dandy. We will extract the Sharpie and turn it on. And yeah, comes up the same. 
it does oops yeah 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 screen ram issues likely okay so as i say while i'm here and i can oh, i think what i'm going to do is move this light over here so i can see better into this machine oh, and move this one over a little bit so i can see into them both and maybe i moved that over a little bit too far Okay, so this ROM chip should go back in here. It should. These white sockets are not terribly forgiving, but it's in and it's fine. Well, let's see if I can get without cat catastrophe. No, okay, I need a Sharpie or something. This chip is socketed. Hello. Come on, you. I think it might be. It's putting up a fight. Putting up a fight. Putting up a fight. It is. Gotta make sure I'm actually prying on the chip and not the socket. These two last legs are probably gonna have a bit of a bend to them. No, not really. And this is. Da -da -da, the 6502. That is a rather critical chip to the entire machine. It is. So. I'll take the Sharpie, or the imitation Sharpie, and I'll do the same here. Oh, no, we won't. We're still turned on. Whew. That was smooth. Don't forget to turn things off. Okay. Come on, you. Boy, they're tight. They've been in here a long time. marker the sharpie is not staying in position very well oh man this is taking much more effort than i think it should maybe i'll try this little goober aha okay little goober Little goober. Okay, I'll put that over here. Is it actually the same chip? Yes, it is. It's a 6520, made in the 45th week of 1980. It is. So we'll check the pins. And I know already that I'm lined up poorly. Line them up. Push it in, turn it on, and see if anything is different. And indeed, nothing is different. So, of the two chips that we can change, that might possibly be different, it doesn't seem to be any different at all. It does not. Well, let's look over here. I suppose there's one other that I could swap out here if I can get it out. And it's funny, it is also in this machine. Uh, it's an EEPROM. Oh, it is a B. But it's funny. And I don't know if you can see this, and I don't know if it is actually anything. But it does look like maybe down in between the chip and everything. It might be kind of crusty. All right, let's see. 
probably not that one. That one would be this one. It would be this one. All right. Let's get a little something to pry with, which is a marker. And we'll pry very gently. And we'll switch screwdrivers. And we'll try to just wiggle it out nicely. And we did. Okay, so this one goes there. That one goes there. We are checking the witness mark and all the pins. And indeed, we're going in. And what do we find? Much the same. Okay, well, that is not surprising, and that is not bad. It's just good to be able to just see what we know. Now, can I get this back out? Come on. Ooh, I don't like when they spring. Okay. So I'll put this one back into this machine, which it's funny, this machine has different kinds of sockets. It has the white ones, but also it has the more forgiving ones. So we'll put these back to the way they were. We shall. And we'll do the same. I don't really have to do this, but I want to be back to the way we were. Mind you, every time you take a chip in and out, you risk damage to the pins, damage. You must be careful. All right. Okay, I think that's in. I think it's okay. I'll take that out. I'll turn it on and hopefully we see exactly what we saw before. And indeed, we do. All right. So, I will put this part of the machine, the 6502, back in. And we're back where we started. All right. So here's what I think. In the next video, I think what I'm going to do is take this board out and put that board in here. Because you know what? There's a sound I hear here when I turn it on to do with the power supply. And even though this isn't coming up properly... I'm not hearing that sound next door. I'm not. I'm going to turn this off. Sorry, I'm going to pull off the, the connector, I think. If I can. And I can. <laughs> it's stiff. Anyway, there's a sound of the power supply coming up. And I'm not hearing that. I'm hearing a, a buzz, but not the, not the... It just doesn't sound right. And sometimes your ears... Can be great at figuring things out. So thanks for coming. We'll see you again soon. In the TV room, the pet room, the box room, somewhere. Bye for now.